Today's guide video will finally feature our precious princess, Misono Mika. She was a member of the Tea Party, the Triumvirate Student Council of Trinity. After certain circumstances, she's currently living her school life as a regular student under probation. Described as a happy-go-lucky type, she tends to voice out her thoughts without any hesitation, causing students to grind their gears whenever they see her. So, when she's out of the council, Mika became a center of mockery. All know I need to keep a good distance so that she won't completely depend on me emotionally. I'm aware that I need to do something or else she'll break herself again. There was one time when her classmates ruined her swimsuit. Thankfully though, she held back and she didn't turn them into cans of corn chicken. That reminds me, it's been a while since I rescued Mika and called her a princess. Mika! S sensei What are you doing here? Wh why How? I already told you. I'll always be by your side. So, leave everything to me. Wh what No, I... I'm a bad girl. I'm not worth it. I don't deserve to be saved by you. S sensei Please, don't do it! Just run away while you still can! Mika? Can you still stand? Oi, you there. Leave my red fl princess alone and you go into one piece. But if you don't, just remember, going down this path was your choice. Now. Just a sec. Dang it. <clears throat> now, if you want to die, step up. To start off, let's discuss Mika's stats. She's a SMG dealer striker who takes the front and she has S rank indoors, A rank on field areas, and D rank on urban areas. She uses Aether and Livron Glens as level up materials. A 3 star level 85 with tier 8 equipment and without any stat bonuses, Mika has 6525 HP, 3785 attack, 425 crit, and 244% crit damage. At relationship rank 20, Mika gains 92 attack and 935 max HP. Raising your rarity to EW30 will increment our attack and HP by 1535 and 13868 respectively. At her current maximum potential at EW50, she will further increase her attack and HP by 288 and 2383. In comparison with her fellow SMG front dealers, Mika holds a second place for attack, third place for HP, and first place for evasion. Her equipment is composed of a hat, a badge, and a watch. This set emphasizes more on critical damage. Because of her badge, her evasion is higher than most front dealers. In fact, she has the second highest base evasion in the game, beating Subaki by a single point and only beaten by Yuka by 23 points. Her exclusive weapon is her beloved Lanchester Mark I that she decorated with all of her heart. Now, it has a special shine that illuminates through the darkness. Quizut Deus this can be translated to who like God. Anyway, at 2 stars, her enhanced skill is upgraded with an additional effect. We'll discuss more about this in the next section. At 3 stars, her affinity indoors is upgraded to SS. Just like any other dealers, her EW upgrades will significantly improve her damage output. To say that raising her rarity to EW50 is highly recommended is still an understatement. Now we've seen her stats, let's see why she's broken through her skills. Her EX skill is called Kyrie Eleison, which translates to Lord Have Mercy. Yeah, have mercy whoever is getting hit by this EX skill. This 6 cost EX skill deals 1540% damage to a single enemy. 
But wait, this damage can be multiplied based on the current HP percentage of the target, and this multiplier can reach up two times too. This EF skill can melt anyone due to its two separate damage multipliers. Bina, keep it gone. Chess said, disintegrated. HUD, consider it done. You can also use this EF skill against special armored enemies as well. She doesn't care about dealing neutral damage anyway. Her EF skill may have bloated multipliers, but it suffers from its high cost. This may require you to bring cost reducing units like Oi, Tokona, Yuhi Ruka, and Shiroko Swimsuit. And also, her damage multiplier that scales with the current HP of the enemy may be only utilized on early game or on your first team. But who cares? She still has 3 other skills in her arsenal. Her basic skill is called Call of the Stars. And for every 5 auto attacks, she deals 169 damage to a single enemy. And for every 3 times that her basic skill is activated, she summons a meteorite that can punch like a gorilla, dealing an additional 339% damage. The great thing about this basic skill is that it doesn't rely on time to activate, but rather on how frequently Mika punches her enemy. So, attack speed buffs allow her to activate this skill often. But this is not really the main highlight of her skill set, but still packs a punch if you allow Ako and Himari to activate the respective EX skill before Mika throws the meteorite onto someone's face. Her enhanced skill is called Gloria Patri, and this skill increases her attack by 26.6%. At her 2-star exclusive weapon, this skill has an additional effect that increases her piercing effectiveness by 49.4%. I didn't tackle this one on my Haruna Guide video, but let's see what's a better buff overall. Additional flat attack? or type effectiveness. For this demonstration, we're going to use Chalet DB's damage calculator and compare her damage output on Insane Bina. Expect lower numbers since we're talking about a highly defensive snake. So, what's our experimental flat attack? Let's take Otaha's increased flat attack stat on her level 10 upgraded enhanced skill, which is 529. In order to get EW50 stats without adding her piercing effectiveness into the equation, we're just going to use her EW30 stats and add some flat values to match her attack stat at EW50. Now we're going to add 529, which is our experimental value. Comparing Mika with piercing effectiveness buff and Mika with a flat attack buff, it's clear that we deal more average total damage with the piercing effectiveness. But obviously, Mika with flat attack deals more damage against enemies with a different armor. And finally, her sub skill is called Benedict. And this skill enables Mika to always crit. This also increases the damage dealt by 24.2% and reduces all incoming damage by 12.2%. Apparently, piercing effectiveness, attack percentage buff, and times 2 damage multiplier are still not enough for Mika. I have a crazy idea. Make her deal more damage, take less damage, and most importantly, make all of her shots critical. Mika's main source of damage is dependent on her ES skill upgrades and her stat buffs. So, her ES skill takes the highest priority. Then, go for the enhanced skill to increase her attack and piercing effectiveness. Then, go for her sub skill and then her basic skill. To be fair, since her goal is to maximize everything, the skill priority that I mentioned is completely irrelevant unless your resources are not enough to satisfy her hunger for attention, I mean damage. We've seen the overview of her skills. Now, let's analyze why she's broken. Mika doesn't have any noteworthy stats, but what's carrying her damage output are her stat buffs, the damage multiplier on her EX skill which is based on the target's current HP, and her guaranteed crit and increased damage deal on her sub skill. Because of this, she completely dominated every single piercing armored raid boss. Not only she can stomp out these raids with ease, she can also chase certain event challenges, scrimmages, and world raids as well. She can definitely bring her against Shirokuro and Goss. In fact, she might just be better than most Mystic units on these raids. Overall, we can easily conclude that she's one of the strongest single target piercing units in the game. But of course, she does have limitations as well. The cost of her EX skill compensates for how broken she is. But in order to mitigate this, it might require you to bring her adopted introverted friend Ui or Yuya Fuka. So which one's a better choice for Mika? I'd say it really depends on the fight itself. Ui is recommended if you want higher critical damage. Unlike Fuka, Ui takes a striker slot, which will leave Ako a spot in the specialist team. To make this team work, you just have to use Ui's EX skill on Mika beforehand, and then use Mika, Ako, and Himari's EX skills on a quick succession. On the other hand, Fuka is recommended if you want faster burst in exchange for weaker damage output, or you need to vacate a striker slot for someone else. It's not really a cause of concern, but take note that Mika is a front dealer, making her vulnerable to enemy attacks. 
She may have a badge that improves her evasion and HP and her soft skill which reduces all incoming damage, but fighting against enemies who can counter her armor, like Insane Ghost and Insane Chested, might be disadvantageous, especially if she doesn't have any support who can consistently sustain her. Just accompany Mika with tanks, who can take damage for her, like Track Yuka, Swimsuit Izuna, and others. And lastly, this may be a given, but considering how viable she is on multiple types of content, you might need to put a great amount of investment into her. So if you have stockpiled Eligma, you probably want to sacrifice those. So in conclusion, is Mika- Wait, we don't need to conclude anything more. Mika is freaking broken. Mika boasts an extremely powerful punch that pierces through a huge fraction of the game. Her gorilla-like strength will be exceptionally helpful on her platinum trophy grind. She may require the help of other units to conquer her setbacks. But you know what they say, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> And that's it for Mika's guide video. We briefly analyzed why she's broken by taking a good look at her stats and her skills. So if you want more Blue Archive content and streams, then go ahead and subscribe now. I also stream on Twitch and Kick. The links are down in the description below. That's it for now and now Mika, remember, don't jump out until I give the signal. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> ah, <a> <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I humbly beseech your pardon as I express my sincerest observation that this endeavor in question seems to embody the pinnacle of your most sorrowful undertakings thus far. It has come to my attention and indeed to the awareness of Seiya herself that the individual adorning the present attire is none other than Mika, who graced us with the same costume during the Halloween festivities of the Oh uh, no, really, you gotta come and save me! Hey Tomo! Who's a friend? But you're supposed to be in a gorilla suit. I am wearing gorilla suit. And I thought it was doing pretty well! If you're Mika, then who's that? <laughs>